babe. Today is the 11th of May 2016 and my wall is gone and almost everything else in my room is too. If I turn this slightly, you can see a big box that has a lot of those things in it. In the next six months, I'm going to be living in two places that have very distinctly different speech patterns. So what I thought I would do today is use this piece of paper that's the the accent tag because there's 15 t questions and also a whole bunch of words to read in the accent and then I'm going to do that right before I leave New York and I'm going to do it again right before I leave Ireland and we're going to see if any of this changes my accent or my language patterns. I actually think the language pattern thing is just interesting. I don't expect it to change. But my accent, I, I absorb accents. Like, I absorb a cloft. Aunt or ant. I use them interchangeably. Roof, root, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel or caramel, but mostly caramel. Fire, water, sure, data. Ruin, Crayon, New Orleans, Pecan, Both, Again, Probably, Spitting Image, Alabama, Lawyer, Coupon, Mayonnaise, Syrup, Pajamas, Caught, Naturally, Aluminum, Envelope, Development, Car, Connecticut, Happy Birthday, Beer, and Bacon. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? It's TPing the house. I've never done it, but that's what it is. What is the bug that when you touch it curls into a ball? A roly poly! Also, sometimes a pill bug, but mostly roly poly. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? Well, it doesn't specify sweetened on here, and if it's unsweetened, then it's seltzer, obviously. But what they're going for is soda versus Coke versus pop, and in that case, it's definitely soda. What do you call gym shoes? Gym shoes are sneakers. Apparently, this is unusual. I said this to some people, and they got upset. What do you say to address a group of people? Definitely y'all in informal settings. And you guys, or or just you in more formal settings, but like, y'all is the most useful contraction ever, and it's ridiculous that it's so vilified. What do you call the kind of spider, or spider-like creature, that has an oval body and extremely long legs? So that's a daddy long legs, or a granddaddy long legs, if you feel like being real southern. What do you call your grandparents? For the most part, it's grandma and grandpa, but I called my paternal grandfather granddaddy. What do you call the wheeled contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? A grocery cart. What do you call it when the rain falls while the sun is shining? Apparently some people call this like the devil is beating his wife or even just something cute like a sun shower. It's literally not something that I knew had a name. What do you call the thing you change the TV channel with? How do you spell the word that describes hues and pigments? That's a remote control. What do you call a circular point in which roads meet? It's a roundabout. What do you call a reusable cup-like container with a lid that you carry water in? A water bottle? What do you call a container with a lid that you carry hot beverages in? That's a thermos, even if it's not thermos brand. What is it called? when you drive your car in the mud for fun. It's mudding and I've never done it or seen anybody do it, but I know what it is. So that is the accent tag. Uh, Abe, you should also totally do this, but mostly, as I said, it's a control for the experiment of Zoe's voice. I will see you on Saturday and actually also on Friday because I'm coming home on Friday. Goodbye.